so we're we're working on our, our three man drills here. So we've done we've done the passing, the flip passes, the jump stops. Uh, we've added the defender in there and a little pickle in the middle and touch drill. And the next progression would be bring them together. And we've all had this at the end of games where a guy gets the ball and gets tied up. Okay, and all of a sudden you lose the ball on a jump ball, it should be game over, and you lose the ball on a tie up. I wonder how I thought of this on that. So what we're gonna work on here on the dead man drill is buying yourself a little bit of time, clearing, maybe they follow you at the end of the game, maybe you call a timeout. Right now, and we do an outlet drill out of this as well, but right now we're gonna say, Kevin's got about five seconds, he's gotta keep that little clock in his head, so we would never wait for the five, because the five would be a what? A whistle. A whistle and a turnover. So at, at about, if you got about four seconds on your inner clock there, you gotta use that timeout. Okay, you don't have an outlet here, you have no other options. They're not calling the foul, you gotta get a timeout, but you're buying time first to see if you can get an outlet. Okay, so Kevin's basically gonna try to keep the ball, he's not gonna travel, uh, he's not gonna get tied up, he's gonna keep on pivoting and ripping through and keeping that ball strong, and these guys are gonna give a little contact, try to slap the ball or tie him up, okay? What we don't, what we don't want is this, I see this with little kids in camps, and I gotta explain it. They'll do this and they'll go, Okay, I'm not gonna be able to do any outletting or, or get anything done if I do that. Okay, the only, th the only way I would do that is if that was the only way I could get the ball. Okay, and we'd worry about it later, but he's got the ball in his possession, he needs to keep it away. Okay, you got that clock, I wanna hear time out. Okay, ready, go. Okay, ripping through, using that pivot foot, keep it down. Time out, time out, time out, good, okay. That's actually a skill to have, is if you're here, you've got it close to your chest, you're pivoting through, when it comes to that time, I've got no outlets, I've got no, they're not following me, I'm gonna get that thing hard, get it into my body and call time out. Okay, so keep that thing as tight with my elbows and my body as I can. Let's have, you know, Lobby, you can be the guy. And you could, have, you could have scenarios here too, again, when, when they get older like this, if they start screwing around or whatever, which they would never do. Um, but if they did, you can add incentives, like if you get tied up, you've got this, if you, if you lose the basketball, you've got that. I mean, there can be different incentives or um, uh, disciplinary measures that you can take with it, okay? Ready? Okay, good.